talk all the time about zero to six inch soil tests, but there is some merit to running some deeper soil tests in your farm. We want to talk about some of the advantages to that today. All right, there's a lot of deep soil tests pulled, Brian. I, I don't want to say that there aren't, but the problem is mainly they're looking at nitrate and trying to find leachable nutrients and seeing what's down a little bit deeper in the soil. Uh, I've seen more tests recently that also included sulfur to see uh, is there sulfate that's moving down through the profile. I really honestly haven't seen much for boron tests deep unless it's a complete soil test. but. Targeting those nutrients is one thing. We're talking about something else here. When we look at deep soil profiles, we'd like to know what's in there for all nutrients. Now, I don't think it's something that you've got to do one acre grids down all the way to two feet or anything like that. But I do like to know in a few spots, at least out in my fields, what have I got down there for nutrition? Is there something I can count on if my root system needs to get deep in a dry year? Well, you start talking about deep, what does deep really mean? I mean, when I look at soil in general, I find an awful lot of roots that are in that six inch to 12 inch range, maybe even 12 to 18 inches. So why are we only testing the top six inches? In the past, a lot of people have said, well, that's where a lot of your organic activity is occurring. You have a lot of oxygen there and everything else. That's great to say, but let's face the facts here. We have an awful lot of roots that are down a little deeper in the soil. It would sure be nice to know what's down there for nutrition. And spoiler alert here, when you do your soil testing, you're probably going to find there's not a lot of nutrition there. So what it's going to lead to is you're going to ask me and Darren, hey, help us figure out a way to get more fertility down a little deeper in the soil to better feed our crops. Well, that's a good point because as you look at placing fertility down deeper, it's probably not going to be accomplished by a broadcast application and a plow. It's more likely going to be accomplished by a deep strip till type or deep banded application. And and we do see that happening in many areas where crops are grown. We've done some of that on our own farm too. The challenge here gets to be, how do you soil test and find those spots if you're just doing strips out across your field? But it's something over time, if you continuously do this, well, you're gonna spread that out as you go across your field. You're probably not just going in the exact same spot every time. So over time, it evens out. So here's the thing. A lot of people are running these deep soil tests and only looking at nitrate and maybe sulfate. They're looking for leach vegetables. I'm actually looking for the exact opposite. I want to find out how much of the non-leachables are down there. Because if they aren't there, I want to put them there. Phosphorus, zinc, potassium. I mean, just think about it. Phosphorus is the number one water quality issue we have in the United States today. Phosphorus pretty much exclusively gets into water because of erosion. So think about this. If your soil moves, then the phosphorus goes with it because a lot of phosphorus gets applied on the soil surface. Well, instead, if you were to apply the phosphorus deeper down in the ground, well, now you better protected the phosphorus and you've got the phosphorus where the roots can get it. The whole key with this, and it, it's nice to put nutrients down deep, but if we don't get any microbial activity a little deeper in the soil, it's gonna be really tough to get a lot of activity there with root systems and everything else. So we've gotta make sure we've got decent drainage out in our fields, and we've gotta make sure that we eliminate compaction layers. If we've got compaction that prevents our roots from getting down to those nutrients as well, we're just out of luck. So take a look at those factors, and then also look at the nutrition that's down deep, and it may be something that could take your farm to the next level. So we've talked a lot about this nutrition in a positive way, but I want to talk about it in a negative way. One of the things that will show up on your soil test, if you run the test for it, is what's the pH level? Also, what's the salt level? Well, if you find that your pH and your salt levels are rising at those lower depths, chances are you have a drainage issue. Chances are you need to do something to get that corrected before it continues to move up and it ends up in your top six inches and causes an enormous problem for your field, your yields, and your entire farm and your economics. So we encourage you, before your next crop goes in the ground, or, or maybe right after your next crop goes in the ground, do a little bit of testing deeper in the soil, but do a complete soil analysis, not just those leachables, nitrogen, sulfur, and maybe boron. Add in the non-leachables too, and start learning a little bit more about what could be done to improve your crops going forward. Well, one of the things we know always improves crops is having great weed control, especially if you've got our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 